Ah, before we go, one last thing. Looks like, you know, little crybaby Adam Kinzinger mm, came out today. Take a listen. Following the tragic Oklahoma City bombing, former President George H.W. Bush publicly refuted those who used fear to gain support. In stark contrast, our leaders today belittle and in some cases justify attacks on the U.S. Capitol as, quote, legitimate political discourse. The once great party of Lincoln, Roosevelt, and Reagan has turned its back on the ideals of liberty and self-governance. Well, it's still a great party, Adam. You're just not part of it anymore, my friend. You're out. Kinzinger, seriously, was he ever really a Republican? And with those words in his farewell speech today, Adam Kinzinger sealed the deal officially transitioning to the other side, so to speak, because I do believe the party he's talking about are the Democrats, who have completely lost the plot. But more importantly, what Kinzinger did right there is he compared the events of January 6th to the Oklahoma City bombing. Adam Kinzinger right there giving us a preview of his future role with CNN or MSNBC. I will bet you dinner on it, folks. Farewell, the Adam. We won't miss you. Don't let the door hit your ass on the way out. But I'm sure the left will now welcome you with open arms. Just make sure you get your pronouns straight or else you'll be out the door there, too. And what about this guy? The other cry from one cry baby, this cry baby to this cry baby. John Boehner? There's no crying in politics. Is there, John? Oh, apparently there is. Madam Speaker, I have to say, my girls told me, tell this speaker how much we admire her. Come on. Pelosi? You admire her? You got to be kidding me. Career politician, another one. Aren't you, like, doing some cannabis business or something, Boehner? Anyway, folks, the stock market today, just before we go, I just have to point this out. Again, there's supposed to be a Santa Claus rally. There's supposed to be a Christmas rally the last three weeks of the year. It's happened so many times almost every year. Today, down 750 points. 750 points in the Dow again down today. Because yesterday, Jerome Powell... The Federal Reserve have to raise interest rates yet again, seventh time in a row, seven months in a row, just to combat Biden's inflation. Biden's 7.1% inflation, the worst in 40 years, remains high. Got up to eight, still seven. 750 points. That brings the Dow down 9% for the year. You're down for the year. Your, your 401k is down for the year. God forbid you're in the NASDAQ, you're down 31% for the year. NASDAQ down 31% for the year, a legitimate bear market. The S&P down 19%. <sighs> Biden's economy, folks, it's got awful. It's got to stop. We got to get these guys out of power. Got to get them out while we can still afford to live. 7.1%, still three bucks for gas. That's all we have time for. Don't forget, set the DVR so you never forget it. Set and forget it. Never miss an episode. Set it for the whole series too, so you never miss one again. 